So then, following on from last time's video, I've taken this item down to my colleague down at the railway club, my mentor, and uh, he says it is good as it is, and it just needs a little bit skimming off, as we thought, to make it fit inside there. So what I need to do now is return this disc back into the lathe. But what I'll have to do is I'll have to keep taking it back out of the lathe to come and test it inside this boiler tube here for a fit. For the simple reason, I haven't got sufficient swing in the lathe to be able to get this to try and push it onto this disc when this is mounted in the lathe. So I'll have to keep taking this out. But if you recall, we did number these particular areas with respect to a particular number jaw on the lathe chuck so that shouldn't be too bad in that sense we should get some kind of concentricity hopefully um, what we need to do is to make this a two thou or three thou clearance sliding fit inside that barrel but the way that this boiler is actually designed to be built this won't be at the very end of the barrel this will actually be down inside the barrel a little more like that so it'll be fitting down inside there a little bit like that but the drawing calls for this to be a tight fit inside this tube but for the silver solder we need the silver solder to penetrate down the side of this and against this barrel so this can't be a tight fit there's got to be a tolerance so I'm going to get a cloth and clean down inside this tube now and then put this back in the lathe chuck with the respective numbers against the respective jaws of the chuck and then I shall machine a little bit off I'll have to go very steady because the only grip that this has on there is just the friction of when we beat this copper plate over on it with its former so let's go and have a look at that now we'll get this mounted back in the chuck so we're back with the lathe again now I've got this thing mounted in the three jaw chuck of the lathe and what I've done I've put this piece of doweling rod into this three jaw chuck here which I'm just going to apply a light bit of pressure onto the front face of this disc just in case the disc does decide it wants to walk off of this former plate that it seems to be compressed onto at the moment it shouldn't walk off at all I'm not expecting it to but I am just putting this in there as a safety caution and what I need to do is skim a little bit off the side of here and then remove this from the chuck again take it and try it in the boiler and then keep bringing it back etc until we've got a reasonable sliding fit inside the barrel this flange as we said previously is a little bit long so what I what it can afford me to do I have a little mark on it here I'm not sure whether you can see that but this bit from this mark which is in this position here there is a mark there and up to my fingernail all of this can be removed because this section here is all we need to comply with the plan of the boiler so all of this can be removed so what I intend to do is remove this rear section first hopefully down to diameter and then I can try that as a test fit and when I get that correct then I can afford to move on to this section here which is the section that I truly need to be a good fit but I can afford to machine this down less than it needs to be by mistake without actually affecting the job itself so we'll have a go at that now the 
it's a safety spin to make sure everything's okay I've got my mark Yeah, that's the bit that safety mark that we can move up to. So we'll give it a go, see how we go on. So here's our mark that we can safely move up to. So let's have a go. to try and take very light cuts. I'm just creeping up on the external diameter of the copper. It's just catching now. just see that we're just catching the copper there that's where the tool is just starting to cut it I'm trying to take the tool in until I don't get an intermittent cut anymore still getting the intermittent cut but I'm, I'm just trying to check and see that this thing isn't actually moving So we're still not hitting the disc all the way around yet. Just make sure that's good. Just check yet. Yeah. We're still not hitting the full disc yet. We're still not hitting the disc all the way around yet. I'm just feeling to see how much I've taken off there and it's just a shine at the moment I'm just moving the tool a little bit further this way off the job off the edge slowly approaching the work again really no 
more, more than a scratch, but I can feel the copper warming up a little bit now with the scraping of the tool. So with it getting warmer, it will also be getting bigger. So I've got that to bear in mind when I machine further down. But that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to continue in that form now, just trying to take this down to a diameter where it's a close fit inside the barrel. So I'm going to keep taking this in and out of the chuck, etc. And then realigning it and just do the same as I'm doing here until such times as I've got this section fitting into the barrel and then I'll machine this section here to match up with that section there. As we can see it's taking some copper off so I'll go back to the job now and try that in the job. Take that out. Remove the work. And go and try it in. Back soon. So I'll just show you the reloading process. Jaw two, jaw one, jaw three is there and i've got my number three here so i'm fortunate enough that i can to slide that into there tighten that into the chuck this and this then bring this bar in here just to touch the front face of the copper and lock that in place. I've now set up the DTI onto the back side of this cross slide here such that I can see how many thousands I'm taking off as I move this cross slide forward in addition to looking at these digits on the front. That's a second comparator. So then I can start the lathe up again, bring the tool back in towards the work and take a little bit more off. I've had a couple of goes already and tried it back in the boiler, but it's not fitting yet. So let's continue. Safety spin, make sure everything's okay. You can see it's taking some copper off, so I'll go back to the job now and try that in the job. Right, we might just about be at a position where this is just starting to enter into the boiler barrel. So uh, let's take this out, we'll go and have a look at the boiler barrel and see whether it does fit in. We are very, very near. Take that out. Remove the work. And go and try it in. So that is now entering the barrel and that's what I would call the tight fit that it advertises to do this to in the book but um, I believe we need to have a bit of clearance and at the moment that's a tight fit in there. Now obviously this barrel might not be an exact circle. So we may be able to twist that and it might be loose in one place and twist it back, tight in another. But in any event, 
we need some space for the silver solder to go down the side of here when this is pushed down inside the barrel and then what we'll do because it will be loose at that point and sliding up and down we'll drill through the barrel into the plate and fix it with some copper screws such that this can then be held in its current position where you want it to be such that we can put the tubes in it etc heat it all up and solder it in and this won't just be flopping up and down inside So there we are, it goes in and it comes out again, but as we've seen it is just about the fit which it says in the book and I can't get that out again now. So tip it back over and push it through so that's a pretty close fit now so I'll take another couple of thou off and that will hopefully then give us a little bit of movement in there and then we'll reduce the rest of this diameter down to this finished diameter